And the law of conservation of matter says that the amount of matter stays the same even when it changes form. That's confusing. Could we break it down? You know it. Let's break it down. <laughs> Let's start with a simple example to understand the law of conservation of matter. First, we'll start by weighing out 25 grams of sugar. Perfect. Next, we'll weigh out 150 grams of water. These scales are set so they don't weigh the weight of their containers. We want just the weight of the sugar and the water. Yes! Now we simply mix the sugar into the water. Here you go. It looks like the sugar disappeared. But it just dissolved, right? The sugar's still in there. Well, what evidence do we have that it's still in there? We can weigh it. If it weighs 150 grams, then that means the sugar's gone. And if it weighs 175 grams, it means the sugar's still there. Let's try it. 175 grams. That's the weight of all the water plus the sugar. Even though we can't see it. The sugar is still in there. It didn't disappear. The law of conservation of matter tells us that matter never just vanishes. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades 3 to 5, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.